So I, I'm delighted this morning to be with Carolina, Carolina Adam Chick, um, and I was introduced to Carolina through Fiona uh, Childstone. So I'm, uh, I said to Fiona, "Look, I'm looking for more interesting people to present at my upcoming meets, and also to, um, you know, speak on my." YouTube channel. As I say to my listeners, it's as much their YouTube channel as my YouTube channel. Um, so Fiona told me that Carolina's strength was interior design. Um, you've worked with uh, Thomas Eskerback from Century Spaces on projects in Bristol um, and staging particularly. So uh, to my listeners here, what 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 skill sets or what things would you advise people to do? <laughs> Interior design is not my um, passion as such, but it's a passion for, you know, people coming to look at and view property. Staging is really key. It can increase values. Um, so if, and this is really just a short snapshot interview. I'm delighted to be with Carolina this morning. So huge thanks for you taking time out, Carolina. Um, nice. what, what advice would you give to my listeners about interior design or staging? Hmm. I think um, I really like uh, the interior design and staging because it, um, it increases uh, the perceived value of the property. So you can really stage it to the type of um, seller you want to attract. Uh, so, you know, this, uh, it would be a bit different to a small uh, young couple than you know, the, the single person, for example, but it's, it's just about making it more attractive in the sale process, really. Um, so, and also through that, you can uh, increase the perceived value. So, um, yeah, I really like um, doing it. And I love properties, so I want to ha prepare them and make them the most pretty they can be. Sure. What, what, what do you look for in a property in terms of stage? And what, what do you think are some of the key aspects people should be looking at? Um, do you have a particular supplier yeah. you, you, work, you like working with? Yeah, uh, I think I, I, I work with different suppliers. So I like uh, when it works for people. This is what they're looking for. You know, if it will work for that buyer, that the sort of um, um, the storage space, you know, how big is the kitchen? It's kind of all the functional bits around it. Uh, and I get excited about the function of a property because uh, you can put whatever sofa you want in it and you can swap it in a couple of years. But if a house doesn't work for you, it's quite hard to swap it. Uh, so you, you think about, you know, when someone comes in, people will be looking at, okay, where do I put my suitcases? Have you thought about that when you were uh, developing the place? Or, you know, is there enough storage space in a kitchen? <coughs> These are like practical things you can think of. Um, so interior design is not only about painting the wall blue or doing a feature wall. It's kind of all those things that the buyer will ask themselves when they see the flat, like, will, the so will my sofa fit, fit in or will my bed fit in here? And sometimes people don't, it's, it's quite a logical thing, but sometimes people cannot um, um, imagine their stuff in the place. So you need to give them an idea of how the space will work for them, how, how you know, the, it potentially could look like, uh, and is all, everything, all of the furniture going to fit in there? Because that's a big concern when you're buying your place. Okay, Carolina, I, I have to admit, my, my passion or one of my passions is crowdfunding. Mm. All right. um, you know, as far as I know, I was the first one to bring crowdfunding to the UK in terms of property events, or if I wasn't the first one, one of the very first people in the UK. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I'm absolutely passionate and it's really delighted to see that companies are getting funded now from the likes of Simple Equity. Right. Now, I, I know the project you were working on uh, was funded on that platform, which was created by Davin Ponwasi and um, his wife, Atuksha. Yep. My, my key question is, uh, the property which you r recently funded in the last couple of months was in Maidavell, so north northwest London. It's a fairly attractive part of, of London, more, more than a fairly attractive part. It's, it's, it's an interesting part in many different respects. It's uh, yep. got a beautiful canal nearby nicknamed Little Venice. Um, an, an amazing part of London. Um, so can you just run through 
a little bit about the property which was on simple equity what was yeah. your experience like yeah so just for the ones watching this um, this is kind of I love developing properties hence the um, staging part <coughs> and you know the, the working with property developers but also I do it for myself so we've recently had a deal uh, funded through simple equity within eight days eight, uh, eight days yeah, we've been raising, we've raised 210,000 uh, in that period, uh, myself and Thomas, and it has been a very good experience. You know, we brought some of our investors, some of the people that were already on the website. So, yeah, really interesting experience and a way to connect with people as well and to uh, make more people aware of what we're doing. Um, so, the flat is in Maida Vale. It's a one bedroom that we're converting to two bedrooms. It's completely knackered, so we're uh, putting all of the passion and all of the bits, in, uh, all of the our hearts into it. Um, so we're going to um, develop the uh, outside uh, the terrace uh, and also make the inside work better for people because it's kind of funny split. Uh, so the, the end result is coming in and having a really wow property in an amazing area. Um, which stay tuned. It's a couple of months from now. Sure. Did, did I, I know Nicole as well? Nicole Bremner from. Uh, yeah. I almost said Simple Equity, but it's not from East <laughs> Yes. Um, she had her open days. Did you do anything like open days, or is that something you'd consider in the future? Yeah. Or Good question. Uh, I have done it on my previous property, the one I developed myself. Uh, I haven't done it on Made Up Vale yet, uh, but it's definitely something we're considering. So potentially the first week of March uh, would be where we would have people coming in to see the project before it launches. And then again, once, it lo once it's launched. Okay. So we're, we're looking at the first week of March. Um, yep. I, I take it no date has been set in stone yet. No, no. Around that time. Okay, okay. Because I know March for me is a slightly busy time or early March because I've got my morning property meet in uh, central London on, oh, on right. Thursday morning. So I know that's one of the activities which I've got. Um, so it'd be great to hear from you when in um, that first week of March, just so I can schedule okay. that into my diary. I take it you'll be adding that onto Facebook, possibly you'll be sharing details of the yeah. open day. Yeah, correct. So, so everything is on my Facebook. Um, but I also have a page now for my, my brand, which is Podkova Property. So if you know me on Facebook or you add me on Facebook, I can forward you the site and everything is um, on there. So I, I know on, on Facebook, I, I'm connected to you on your personal page, but you've got a business page. Is that what you're saying as well? Yeah, there is a, also a business page, P-O-D-C-O-V-A, Podkova Property. And and you, you just want to give your name because on the video it will just show Carolina. Your, your surname, I just spell it for my listeners, mm -hmm. um, is A D A M C Z Y K. Correct. So I just want to say huge thanks for you taking time out today, Carolina. Now, Thank to you. my listeners, I want to say huge thanks as well. And if you've got particular questions, it's fascinating, as I say, for me, the fascination is more on the crowdfunding. Um, you know, it's, it's a, I just find it an amazing platform, not just Simple Equity, but the other platforms out there, yeah. which are really changing the future of property investing. And I'm not here to rattle on. Um, so I'm just going to say huge thanks for you joining us today, Carolina, and Thank huge you. thanks to our listeners as well.